Hi, I'm Shannon Galladay. I'm here with Dave Young. Today we're discussing the seven steps to building wealth. The third step is hire a competent advisor. Um, many people think that accumulating wealth is a pure luck or a random event. Um, but in most cases, it isn't. And step three, as I mentioned, hire a competent advisor. Um, it's important. And why do you think, Dave, why do you think it's important to have an advisor to help you? I think it just makes sense. I mean, if you've got any amount of money at all that you're, you're managing and that you care about, you really want to work with a professional. Uh, just like you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't go to an electrician for heart surgery. You know, you wouldn't go to a dentist to have help with your taxes. Mm -hmm. Uh, you wouldn't go to a plumber for legal advice. Likewise, uh, you really, with you know, the most important asset you have for your future, you, you want that dealt with with a professional. Oh, definitely. I think it's important to turn to an expert and have that expert ex expertise. Um, so, why do you think um, that it's difficult to manage? Um, why why do you think people have a hard time managing their own money? Why can't they do it themselves? I just think it's really difficult because most people who are successful and who are earning money earn that money by performing their expertise. I mean, they might be a doctor, uh, they might be an attorney, they might be a business person, uh, they might be a retiree but that worked at a company, uh, but now they've got a, a large sum of money they need to invest. It's, it's, it's very difficult when your focus is on something else to, by the way, manage your money. And uh, in general, you know, to sum it up, you've got you've got to have the time, you know, to track the markets, to track your investments. You've got to have the resources. I mean, there's there's Morningstar, all kinds of different resources out there available. You've got to have those resources. And lastly, you've got to have the expertise. So you need to have experience in the market. If you have those three things, then you can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, but generally, you, you're not going to have the time because you're doing other things to make money. Well, that makes sense. If you're focusing on your profession, then you'd probably not have enough time to do this. Right. Um, so as you're looking around, I know there's so many different options for advisors out there. Um, what are a few things to look for when you're looking for an advisor? Well, first and foremost, I would hire a fiduciary advisor. Only about 15% of all people who call themselves financial advisors are fiduciaries. But you definitely want a fiduciary advisor. That means that advisor has a legal obligation to act in your best interest, and that gets you the highest quality advisor uh, out there. Uh, second, you want someone that's got experience. Uh, I recommend that you have someone who's got at least 10 years experience. That way they've been through up and down markets, and they're not just experimenting with your money. And finally, I think you want someone who has a track record. Uh, at the end of the day, that's what you're hiring them for, is for their performance and what they can do for you. And so if they don't have a track record, or if they can't show you a track record, you really have no, no way to compare them. So I would always make sure you can look at their track record. and can, So you go find five financial advisors, you, you should have five track records that you can compare against each other, see what they've done for their clients in the past, and give you an idea of, of, of what they might do for you. Mm -hmm. So. Great. Thanks, Dave. Those are great tips to look for. Thanks. Um, if you'd like to read more about this step or um, download 7 Steps to Building Wealth, you can visit our website, paragonwealth.com. Thank you for watching Paragon TV.